Hey there! Welcome to Clean Cut, and let's talk about the truth. This is where we can talk about life, reality, and anything else. There's just one rule. We have to use solid logic and common sense. In the first episode, we proved that the concept of subjective truth is garbage. In our second, we talked about the importance of logic and how it works. And in the last episode, we talked about lies, what they are and what they're not. All of these things apply to the human intellect, a part of the mind which is used to gain information about the outside world. Of course, I wanted to find out why people lie. What goes through a person's head when they lie, and why they deliberately drive away from the truth? Well, to really understand that, I first need to go over four other concepts. The emotions, the intellect, the will, and the mind. First, the emotions. We have a few basic ones, joy, trust, fear, surprise, sadness, disgust, anger, and eager anticipation. We can go through many different kinds of feelings based on those emotions, and they can even be combined in a bunch of different ways. In fact, they can be so vibrant that sometimes we forget their crippling limitations, namely that our emotions can only tell us how we personally feel. They can sometimes help us to understand the feelings of others as well, but we certainly can't use them to measure a rock. We still need science for that. Second, the intellect. A lot goes on in here, too. In episode 2, I listed three ways to acquire knowledge, science, logic, and ethics. All that goes on right here, in the intellect. Now, the intellect isn't as pushy or passionate as the emotions, but the upside is that it can understand all kinds of things, even things that we can't see with our eyes, like mathematics. For example, show me five. No, that's the number five. That's five fingers. Show me five. You can't do it. Five isn't something that we can see and measure, it's a concept that goes on in our intellects. I'm not sure what it is, in fact. I may come back to this. Our third concept is the will. The will is very special because it decides what kinds of decisions we make. Human beings have free wills, which means that we can make decisions based on literally anything in the emotions or the intellects, or in both. Finally, there's the mind. The mind is where all of this goes on. It's part of what being human is all about. Minds aren't quite the same thing as brains. Brains are purely physical, and even squirrels, cats, and dolphins have those. Minds are distinctly human. Human minds have things like intelligent reason, imagination, memory, emotion, attention, and the ability to observe things and understand them. All sorts of amazing and unique functions, very different from any other creature, even those with advanced brains. I'll be asking more questions about the mind later, too. For now, though, what goes on in the mind when a person decides to lie? Well, they've got their will in there, deciding between different choices. Usually, these choices are brought up by their feelings or their intellect. Let's use an example. You just broke a window, and the guy inside asks you if you're the one responsible. Now, your intellect knows that you broke that window, so you could just do what your intellect says and fess up. On the other hand, your emotions are afraid, and because you're afraid, you might decide to lie about it. In this situation, it's not a good idea to follow your emotions, because if you do, you're only concerning yourself with how you feel, and trying to get away with a crime. You'll probably be found out anyway, and you're better off just apologizing and trying to pay for the damages. So because the intellect tells you about the rest of the world, and the emotions only tell you about how you feel, you should ignore your emotions all the time, right? Well, no, not necessarily. Let's take another example. A guy named Biggs tells his friend Wedge that there's a jungle cat on the loose, and in response, Wedge has to decide whether to go around warning people about it. Now, Wedge doesn't know it, but Biggs is lying, so Wedge has two choices. He's a pretty brave guy, so he's not afraid of the big jungle cat. Instead, his emotions tell him to go confront the beast head on, because he's eager for a fight. However, realistically, he knows in his intellect that he'd probably get creamed by a jungle cat, and that the best thing to do would be to warn people about it. Now, in this instance, the example is reverse. Last time, it would have been bad news to follow your emotions, but this time, if Wedge does what his intellect tells him to do, he'll be spreading his friend's lie without even realizing it. You see, here's the thing. Either the emotions or the intellect can be weak and lead to problems. If your feelings get in the way of doing the right thing or being honest with yourself, then it's not good to listen to them. But a lot of the time, intellectual ignorance can be just as bad, especially if we're ignorant of something that we really ought to know. If I want to keep myself from lying, I need to be careful about both, doing the best I can to learn the truth of my intellect, and reining in my emotions when they start to get in the way. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.